You're watching the Bad Dice Club. All right, welcome to Troubles in Tari. Troubles in Otari. Blah, blah. Anyway, it is yes. troubles, then. Yeah, get ready. We've got trouble. Uh, right here in Otari City. <laughs> <laughs> trouble, 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 trouble. So we've been talking. We've been uh, chatting a lot about... Um, let's baking. see. We talked we talk about baking. <laughs> So let's say that you guys did some super heinous crime, and now it's the day of your execution. <laughs> What's your last meal? <laughs> um, <laughs> I get a little darker than I intended. <laughs> yeah, it gets a little darker. Oh, really dark, really quick. <laughs> Dude. Sorry, I had a like, uh, list of questions. I'm like, what's somewhat related we were talking about? Best meal of your life. How about that? <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably ask for one of those crazy dishes where they just like put gold in it for no reason because it'd be <laughs> incredibly expensive. Oh, interesting. They do that? They put gold in stuff? Yeah. That's crazy. There's like edible gold you can get, like gold dust. That's just. You can also go to a spa and do a chocolate bath instead of a mud bath. True. Uh. I don't know. I'm still stuck on the last meal of my life side of it. Uh, because if I if it was really one of those things that I uh was looking for the best last meal, it would probably be like something home cooked that they wouldn't be able to get me anyways. Mm-hmm. Try to trip them up. I know, because I'm like, I think my last meal and the best meal I had are completely different. Mm -hmm. I think um, my last meal would this, be like, waffles. Ten years ago, I would have said, like, just anything that's Indian food. Just give me the curry. I'll be good to go. But now that I've been just, married to a Filipina... Just kill me by mainlining curry straight into my veins. Yeah, there you go. But now I've been married to a Filipina and just introduced all sorts of different delicious Filipino food. I'm going to go with like a Filipino spread. Yeah. Like peanut like, butter? Like adobo chicken. Like the oh. most savory. I don't think you can spread that that easily. Adobo chicken. You know, it's worth a try. Uh, <laughs> adobo chicken, white rice. Uh, what else would you have with that? I like oh, the white rice. Lumpia. Like the egg rolls, lumpia. That's really good. It's a puto. Uh, I've never tried any of these things. I'm definitely going to have to take your word for it. Well, you gotta get white rice. And eat some Filipino food. Or you can crash a, cr crash a Filipino party with me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go They'd to probably a lot of fine Filipino with parties? I got like two this weekend. That's just fun to say. <laughs> okay. We've been to those. People keep having babies, and those babies keep having birthdays. So. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Every birthday is a big ass celebration uh, at a hotel with uh, a huge freaking buffet full of Filipino dishes. So that yeah. sounds amazing, actually. Jesus. I married into the right culture. Let me tell you. Is it just for babies or is it all birthdays? Well, it's is there like a cutoff? All off? the birthdays, all the birthdays. They just keep getting older. And then, okay. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot point, of children. The birthdays become about the kid, but baby birthdays are more about the parents than the adults. Is yeah. More about oh, the yeah, adults, little, little ones. More about the parents than the adults. That's, yeah. Well, yeah, uh -huh. it's about the specific adults that are parents. Yeah. Yeah. There's this other dish. It's called, it's 
This is what happens when you work seven days in a row, isn't it? Yes. (laughs) Hell yeah, it is. My next, I'm off the next two days, and after this, I am laying in the bed. And just, like, not moving for a while. I get that. Not moving. He's had to smell carpet chemicals for seven days straight. Oh, wow. Just My one brain cell's fighting for its life. (laughs) Yeah. Hang in there, little buddy. Hey, want to see want to see my impression of a coma? <laughs> <laughs> want to see my impression of a hot dog? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> laying in bed, yeah, right. You're gonna go watch the Chiefs game after this. I'm going to watch the Chiefs game laying in bed. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Yes, um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't know. That all sounds amazing, but I would feel incredibly awkward just crashing a Filipino party and being like, yo, I'm here for the food. (laughs) Thanks. Do you know somebody? Yeah, I know that that guy. I know that guy, and I know deliciousness when I see it. Thank you. (laughs) I don't know. With With the question at hand, I think I would have to get, like... Some kind of like Italian dish, but shipped from Italy itself. Oh, like an actual yeah. Italian lasagna or. Mm, that would be good. Mickey waffles. Mickey waffles is what you go with. Last, yeah. last meal, Mickey waffles. Mickey waffles? Waffles like... shaped like Mickey Mouse. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that something that they serve like at. Um... Uh, mm-hmm. Disneyland or something? Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. And they use like a really, yep. really good like malt type yeah, of waffle mix. Oh. There's Ooh. a specific brand they use, I think Golden Malt so or something. Good. These and chocolates it's, taste it's kind really of malty. Mm-hmm. I'm digging it. So that would that would be my choice. Mickey waffles. Just l- let me be happy. Uh yeah. Or I die. Or I die. Listen, here's here's my question. It's your it's literally your last meal. What, what are they gonna tell you? No, can you just be like, yo, can I get heroin for my last meal? I've heard it's great. <laughs> just sprinkle it on but those waffles know? like powdered yeah. sugar. <laughs> Fucking yeah, absolutely. I'm dying anyways. Why not? <laughs> right. These waffles are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good way to go. Can you just give me like a tub of lard and a huge cigar? Like dying anyways. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. It's like, yeah, just go for something like incredibly unhealthy, but that you know is just going to hit the pleasure centers of your brain. You know what hits the pleasure centers of my brain? Uh, playing D and D. Playing D and D. Pathfinder. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna play some Pathfinder. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for that Good segue. segue. Man, I really can. Bad. Yeah, I can see a segue coming. <laughs> I was a little worried for like half of a second that it was gonna go even further off. <laughs> no, 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 no. We we keep things super structured here at the bad. Oh, look! Club. Is that All the, the time, rails? You know? <laughs> just jumped completely over him <laughs> uh so let's see what happened last time um it's been a while it's been like what three weeks since we played something like that yeah it's been, like it's been a, a minute yeah wow so you guys fought a basilisk the farm oh you killed the hell out of that basilisk i thought you said bought and then Wasn't you that got two sessions ago? it was just we're just we're walking it back a bit. And after that, you guys What's went to then? talk. You went and talked to the person who hired you, Aloria Galantine, to go and check the situation out. After, you know, retrieving stuff from the kobolds and whatnot, um, the packages. And so she's like, well, thanks for bringing these, but. I could still use your help delivering these packages. So you're doing the mail carrier thing. 
And so your first stop was going to see Mangeloy over at Crow's Casks, which is like a brewery type Perfect. thing. And so you helped invent a brand new drink, Waffle Crisp. Yeah. Mm mm, delish. And delish. Uh, she gave you some gold for the delivery, but asked if you could go and fetch her some mushrooms. And she'd uh, give you some of her alchemical products uh, in payment, uh, just as a thank you. Listen, so I know somebody breaking bad when I see it. Alchemical <laughs> products, cash on delivery. I see what's happening here. Right. The uh... she's just she's just dodging taxes and something like that. I don't know. <laughs> The hole we didn't want to go into without yeah. Luna. Yes, the hole that was definitely definitely, definitely safe. not something to worry. About. Yeah, everything's fine all the time. It's yeah, all fine. Totally so fine. You, went to, you went to the hill, uh, which is called uh, dirt. What was it called? You went to the hill. Have eyes. Are they alive? Slab With the sound Hill. of music. <laughs> you went to <laughs> Slab Hill. And at Slab Hill, um, you found some slabs and not many mushrooms. But you did see one slab that had kind of been uh, moved a bit out of the way. And you saw a basket full of mushrooms that had just been thrown to the side haphazardly. Ooh, right yeah. at the door. To perfectly good mushrooms. Yes. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? Poor mushrooms. <laughs> These myconids shall be avenged. I guess uh, that person wasn't a very fun guy. <laughs> oh man Listen, <laughs> I appreciate you I'm here for it so here you are there's a spooky asshole in front of you alright let's go what do you do uh nothing cause the game is paused <laughs> yeah Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. It is spooky. Can I tell what the hell this green thing is? Um. Is it glowing? Let me see here. So... Light pours into this wide stone chamber from the opening in the hillside. Thick mats of spider webs cluster in the chamber's corners, and the walls bear crude carvings of human soldiers <coughs> standing at attention between shallow niches. A passageway deeper into the hill has an emblem above it. Okay. An open hand with a star on the palm. Uh, so it doesn't say much uh, about that. Uh, so it just means uh, perhaps a light source of something or some kind. Um, okay. This was a not map not made by. It's like totally like unofficial. It's not made by a Paizo or. Okay. Anything like that. So that might just spend a neat little I'll detail. Try a perception check to see if I can tell what's going on in there. Uh Give me a knowledge, like a knowledge roll to like identify kind of what type of place this is. Um, I can do that. I'm really good at it. Bleh. Esoteric or Okay, cool. So I would say that you figure this is some type of maybe some type of crypt or something. Ooh, maybe Ooh. I can know. I have a skill that's underworld lore. <clears throat> underworld. Okay. Sure. Go for it. Let me see if I can help identify anything. 
Uh, you rolled privately, so I cannot see oh. it. Did the right uh, It was roll? a 20, I promise, but... It was, well... Uh, if here. you just right click where it says your uh, the little... right click your roll, you can show it. Oh, okay. Link in the chat. And right click. So yeah, uh, yeah. You, I guess both you would say, like, yep, that's that's some kind of crypt. Uh, looks, uh, there might be some dead people in there. Hmm. Oh, I have Underworld lore, too. Oh. Well. Hmm. I guess we're going to possibly fight some dead people. <coughs> um... Because you're on the cell phone instead of the way oh, you Oh, that's what it was. So maybe if you click where it says cell phone or something. Uh, yeah. I will move up here to kind of get a better look what we got going on. Don't go here. it alone! I'm coming with! Uh. Huh. All right. Ugh. So, <clears throat> what are we seeing here? I can't see. Yeah, you see some soldiers standing at attention. Oh, I can't see any of those. Um, I can uh, cast dancing lights to help ooh, us see. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. I like it. So, hit <clears throat> your cast button. Why can't I move? Cast. Uh, where are you? I'm still uh, at the door. Oh, I can't move you either. I'm like, I keep trying, it's just not moving. Okay, well, I tried a new uh, a a module called Mount, or something Mount. Where I could actually mount you to your dog. I was able to move myself up here, and then I couldn't move anymore. Uh, instead oh. of trying to click on you your token, wall. you may want to try and click and drag, and then so you. That's make what sure I was you... doing. I was trying to drag it. It was weird. Oh yeah, I'll uh, disable the mount if it's giving you trouble, so it'll just be like it was before. <clears throat> so. The goblin fire. It is. So did you cast your dancing lights? Oh, you did. Okay, cool. So four floating lights. Each one makes a light. Okay. I thought that would automate something cool, but didn't really happen. So get cast. Wow. Well, shoot. Here's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll I'll find a light spell. And then I will drag the light effect to these rocks. There's a rock. There's a rock. There's a rock. And there's a rock. You get four rock. rocks. <clears throat> All right. So I think they kind of have to be like kind of within 10 feet of each other. The, the, the text says. So. Which are more than 10 feet apart. Each light must remain within 120 feet of you and within 10 feet of all others. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Well, that room is super lit up now. And as you guys are kind of making your way through and looking very carefully. Making our way downtown. The soldiers begin to stir. Roll oh. for initiative. Roll for initiative. Four. Roar. Oh. <clears throat> There's quite a few there. Well, I do believe there needs to be a combat before we can roll for initiative. Yes, that is true. I just threw a bunch of rocks on there, though, so that's going to make this a little slower. There we go. 
<laughs> I don't want the right. rocks to roll initiative. Uh, you can just remove them from the combat. Nah. There you okay. go. Okay. Nah. <sighs> roll, 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 roll. Not 20. Oh, that's I got bad. a 22, 21, 18, and 17. I need a roll I got perception. <clears throat> Two. <laughs> Good job. Good job. You did it. All right. Apparently, I'm still a little hurt from last time. Oh. Here we go. Let's. Oh, nostalgia. I'll play nostalgia. Why not? Ooh, that wasn't good. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So, to start us off, we do have a skelly boy. Dun, 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 dun. And he's going to run <coughs> forward and attack our good old pal Sky with his claw. And he hits you just barely with a 19. You take five points of damage. Okay. Uh, does he have any other attacks? Nope. So he'll give you another claw attack. All right, and that is a big fat miss. Next one. Of course, is gonna step and attack half track Tully uh, with another claw attack. These guys don't seem to have any ranged attacks. Uh, that is a natty Ooh. 19. I'm going to guess that hits. Yep. You also take five points of damage. And he tries to claw you again, and oh, shoot. And that sounded like That's a, a natty 20. <laughs> With that natty 20, you take another six points of damage. That was his okay. critical. So not too bad. Not too bad. He rolled a natural one on his d4, so... All right. Next one. All my skeletons rolled extremely well for their initiative. Yeah, that just seems to be how Foundry works out for Justin. It's crazy how that works. They're very perceptive skeletons. It's just, I don't know. I just keep rolling all 20s all day long. It's so weird. I roll a lot of dice. <laughs> That's no. a three, and He's that's uh, <coughs> also bad. Okay, next one. Yet another skelly boy here, and this one is going to try and take a chunk out of our little fairy companion. That's a big fat miss. All right. Well, you live to fight another day, I guess. <laughs> oh, was I supposed to roll for waffles, too? Nope. Okay. He'll just act on your initiative. Okay. But it's your turn. Okay. Um, and then something else begins to stir. As Soup? well. No. Oh. This is a different sort of creature entirely. Though it definitely looks very somewhat skeletal in nature. It looks like this. Like this. Pop him up on here. Oh. That's great. Huh. Yeah, that's. That's great. He looks like a pretty cool dude. <laughs> For the parties. 
Yes, and so he walks forward and he says, Oh, look, we have more to feed on. Did somebody After just them. come through here or something? Did you just eat people? Because if so, that's not that's not cool. I, I guess we know what happened to uh, our onion friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mushroom picker. Yeah, that one. Mushroom <clears throat> onion. Um. Let's see here. So he's going to stride forward. That's five, ten. I have to zoom in here. I can't see. How far has he moved? Twenty. Twenty-five. There we go. He's going to attack. All right. So that's a 26. You take six points of damage from this thing. Um, please roll a fortitude save. That'll do it. 25? You're fine. Okay. He gained some temporary hit points, though. That's cool. Yes. He seems to have sucked some of your vitality right from you. All right, Alia, you're up. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, let's see. Man, the two of you are, like, one point away from each other in damage here. I got well both of our fighters just got hurt mm -hmm. so you know being being the person that bakes things to heal everybody I think that's what I need to help do okay and it's been a while so I completely forget how to do so yeah sure uh well Let's take a look at how much healing stuff you have in your inventory still. You have two elixirs of life. Okay. And you have two bottles of lightning and two alchemist fire. Well, oh, right, because I prepped it last time, apparently. Okay. And I want to remind you everything that these guys are resistant against, like skeletons, because you guys fought these before. This is your knowledge from before. Um, electricity damage was done on them before, at least attempted. It didn't really do much. So, yeah, healing could be a good way to go. Uh, your bumps may not be super helpful in this situation. That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah. Am I able to throw it at them or do I have to get close to them to do so? Uh, I think for a healing elixir, you need to actually give it to them. Yep. Okay. So. I'm sorry. Yeah, go to Tully. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. Why aren't you moving? Here, I'll do it. Thank you. You saw me try to move it, right? I did. Okay. Now it should work. I separated you and Waffles, so. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, that's good. <clears throat> Four points, I'll take it. Boom. And then how much more do I have? I don't remember. Like, what else can I do? Well, uh, you can try uh, land an attack or something, or uh, let's see. Yeah, 
You could have Waffles bite. <laughs> Worked out well for us. Or you last could time. run away. Or you could run away. That's true. I, that's so what I was move... wondering is can I move a little bit more to safety? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Or can I have Waffles move us a little bit more to safety? Yes. Okay. So I want to move just like here to this side. Right there. Okay, so. cool. Woof. There, yeah. All right, good round. It gave you some life. Good luck. All right, Tully. All right. Um, I think I am going to roll a knowledge check on uh, the guy standing in front of me here. Mm -hmm. So, meh. Yeah. That's a white. That's a what? Oh, it's a white. a white. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a white. Um. um and doesn't have any weaknesses, resistance, resistances. Uh, his worst thing by far is his reflexes. Uh, doesn't look like he uh, is super quick. But um, okay. one thing he does do, he has an ability called White Spawn. Yes, uh, if he um, kills you, uh, you pop up back up as a white. And you become White Spawn. Uh, w That's was that terrifying. a regular success or a critical success? Critical success. Cool. Um, then I get a plus two bonus to my AC against his next attack and a plus two bonus for my next saving throw. Awesome. Um, so that being the case, uh, I will, does he have any weaknesses? No. No weaknesses. Okay, of course. Well, then I still do get to do uh, exploit vulnerability, uh, personal antithesis, so two plus half my level is still three plus my implements empowerment so i get to add five to uh my attack i will strike him Hiya! yeah all right is that a critical hit nope regular yeah. hit yeah sorry uh so 12 damage 12 awesome um or uh, actually I think that might more. just be 10 damage sorry oh okay um and uh, I'll try and roll again uh oh I will use my hero point do it <laughs> yeah that's not that great hey, okay it's not a one uh, i'm gonna guess that's not a hit though it's not a hit nope not even all this guy right. i will end my turn there all right good round uh nostalgia is gonna run in with a hee hee and uh let's see here what does she have going on well she'd want to probably do some flanking the old flank and spank. Get that flank bone. Um. Let's see, what does she have for attacks? She has an unarmed attack. She does also have a rapier. Yes, but these are skeletons. This is true. Yeah, no, I think she's going to run in here. Hopefully, Sky Stomper can stomp some skellies. Um, um, let's see here. 15. Yeah, she'll try and take one of these guys out. Doesn't take too much here. Um, what's the damage on this unarmed attack? 
I don't even know what her damage is. 1d4, I believe. A d4 plus one. And what's the rapier? Oh, okay. It's just, okay, slashing and piercing his tear. All right. Yeah, she doesn't punch it. She's going to punch his whole butt. Punch that skeleton boy butt. Mm. She's a hero point. <laughs> Should we roll a one? No, not a one. Uh, let's see here. I could roll again. Nah, we won't. We won't we'll save the hero point for later. Just oh. trying to hit these skeletons. They're. Yeah. Skeletons. She's just not doing great. <clears throat> she draw her sword. For her next thing that she does. All right. Sky Stomper. He be stomping. Right. I think the first thing I'm going to do is cast Gouging Claw. Ah, okay. That's a good one. Are you doing a spell strike? Yes. Cool. I'll roll your attack. Uh, what are you attacking with, by the way? Uh, I had down. my sword cane with me. Okay. Could he use his sword cane as a bludgeoning weapon, since it is also a cane? If it has the bludgeoning trait, yes. Could he take a penalty? It just says concealable finesse. Well, here's the thing. If you do your gouging claw, that's going to be something that is reduced. But if you're combining your spell with your weapon, I only reduce it once anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I'm thinking of casting two spells in a turn. Is that possible? It uh, is. It is, but one of them has to have a casting time of only one action. Yep. Okay. I th I was planning on doing gouging claw and then using gust of wind. Uh, you can do that next round, the gust of wind. Okay. Because I want to get these guys away from me. Okay. Uh, well, you know these guys aren't very tough. You could probably kill them pretty fast if you were to just hit them. True. Okay. So, which one are you targeting? The one to the north or one to the south? To the north. To the north, all right. Roll your attack with your weapon. Right. Roll that, good. Roll real good. Is that just click damage? Uh, nope, that's be plus eight. The plus eight, okay. Oop, I clicked the wrong one. Here we go. Plus eight. Yeah, buddy, that's a hit. Roll, hit the damage button. Okay. Perfect. All right, so you did five points of damage, and now you roll your damage for gouging claw. So scroll up on the chat and then hit one of those. Doesn't really matter which one. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'll do slashing. Damage. All right, so that's 14 points of damage. So this thing is obliterated. It just explodes. All right. You still got one action left and one enemy in your face. Let's go for him. So you do plus three this time. <laughs> Oh, 
yep, that's not going to do it this time. 14 is okay. just a little too shy of their AC. But good round. You got rip one of them off the table. Good. Indeedly doodly. Can't click it. All right. Uh, skeletons are going to move in here. Um... Whomp. He's gonna step. Try and try and do some claws again. That's a natty 18 on the die. Oh, minimum damage, three points. And a miss on the second attack. Even with a natty 17, he still just missed it by one. Um. Uh, and this one's also going to try and strike and miss. Swipe 2 does manage to connect. I have just enough here. So you take three points of damage from the second skeleton that's still up. And this one sees another target. It's going to go after... Um, Nostalgia. There we go. Oh, and then uh, I think this one's actually going to take a step for its next move. It does do four damage and nostalgia. Uh, they seem to be a bit smarter than what your average skeleton would be. Um, They're smarter than your average bear. Yup, but that is still going to be a miss. He rolled real bad. But now it's the White's turn. Yeah, well, I bet if you had your way, it would be the White's turn every turn, huh? <laughs> uh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's always about the White's, isn't it? <laughs> All right, uh, this one's going to go, let's see here. He's also going to take a strike against Nostalgy. That's going to be a hit. That's a really good roll. So Nostalgy takes seven points and needs to make a Fortitude save. Ooh, okay, so now she is going to feel like some of the life is uh, being suckered out of her. Now she is drained one. And I get three points of temporary hit points as well. All right. Uh, I got two more actions left. Um... After that, he's going to step over here and then attack Tully. And that's also going to be a hit with a 24. Tully, yeah. you take 10 points of damage, roll a fortitude save. Okay. All right, you are also going to be drained one. Did you add the plus two AC for that one? <clears throat> uh, it was a 24. What is your... Uh, it's 20, but I will also use two. my amulet. Whop. Um, Amulet's abeyance. What does that do? Um, uh, I get resistance to damage equal to two plus my level. So take five damage off that. All right. Awesome. Okay. 
Okay, what does drain to do? Um, uh, it doesn't sound about constitution checks. So you take a status penalty to your constitution checks, fortitude saves, lose a number of hit points equal to your level, uh, times the drain value. Ouch. So I take another, what, three points of damage? Nope. You don't. It's, oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's already been calculated, I'm sure, because that's how Foundry works. So. Okay. That's his whole turn right there. Okay. I'm going to cover for her for a second. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to... run over here. And do... do I, ha I have another elixir of life, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give that to Tully. Awesome. Click that use button and max health. Awesome. Wait, actually, I should have had a plus two to my save as well. Would a 17 have passed that save? Uh, let me check. My fortitude saving throw. I forgot about that. 17 would have hit it exactly. So yes, I would not be drained, apparently. So I would get another cool. three hit points back and not be drained. Cool. All right. You're sitting much better now. Hooray. Yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> it wasn't just the AC. So All right. Move administer potion. Uh... Yeah, you could tell, uh, I mean, you could move again if you wanted. Uh, yeah. How far can she move? Uh, uh the, feet, I think. Well, it's 25. the dog's movement, right? Which should be 25 feet, I believe. Yeah, okay, we're just going to run right. over here by me. <laughs> All right, cool. Put them together. She was riding. All right, Tully's up next. Uh, yeah, Tully's gonna try and get rid of this guy trying to disease everybody. Um. Oh yeah, I should have had a plus one to saving throws against it. Is that thing, uh, the white fever or whatever he's trying to give us? Is that a disease? Uh, let me take a look. Does not have a disease trait. Um, is it a it's just, poison? It's necromancy. Okay. Well, um, this guy is still targeted for extra damage, so I'm just gonna fucking swing for the fences against him. Like, we really should be trying to get rid of that guy. Um, so I will go ahead and Roll strike. That's not going to do it. Nope. Roll second strike. Come on, hit up. 19. Is a hit. All right. Mm. Nine damage. Uh, And then I'm going to cast shield. Ooh, good move. Uh, shield, is that from, like, the tattoo feat, or is that something else? Sorcerer Dedication. Ah, uh, okay. Very cool. Great use of that third action. All right. Um, let's see. What should I have Nostalgy do? 
I think she likes her thinking. So she's going to step here and also target the white. And she's going to try and hit him with her rapier. So let's see. He should be off guard. Hopefully it will automatically do that. Oh, and that's a miss, even though he has a lower AC. We'll try again. Man, her bonuses are so bad. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, I used the other rapier. She's got two here. One has a plus two to attack. The other has a plus seven. That's quite the huge difference. Ah, oh, shoot. I yeah, that sounds about right. She that one. There we go. So if it's her other rapier, the plus five, that is a hit. So I'm just going to roll damage on that one. The white guy takes five points of damage and then... Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I have to go around attacking the white guy. Like the white guy hasn't suffered enough. Always trying to keep the white guy down. Yes. Uh, she gets some sneak attack. Um, with an extra 1d6. Uh, yep, just a d6. Another two points. Take that, white guy. All right. It is my turn. What you got, monkey man? <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going to attack the skelly boy here. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> You can use your hero point for the session if you I like. I think we're going to do that. For a single reroll. I will do that. That's a bit better. Bit. Yeah, you got him. Uh, roll damage. Damn a damage. So six points with the cane. And it looks like he is still up. Okay. So you got two actions left. Well, I think I am going to run over here by these guys and cast um, Gust of Wind. Okay. Uh, Gust of Wind takes two actions. Oh, it does. Yeah, I so believe. moving's an action, and Gust of Winds is two actions. Then I won't um, do that. What you could do... You have that Dimensional Assault Focus spell. Uh, okay. So you could basically teleport to a square... Okay. ...in range. So it says half your speed. Uh, so yeah, I think that would be half your speed. If you wanted to teleport right there, you could. Um, sure. So let's do that. And then, and then I, I think it. you can make an attack at the end of that or something. Uh, and then make a yeah, strike. So it's like a melee attack. Yep. Yeah. So you you get another strike, and then you still have one more action at the end of all that. Okay. 
So I'm going to attack this skelly boy in front of me here, then. That is also a hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Yeah, your attack didn't seem to do that much against him, unfortunately. Okay. God, and sees, resistances. He is resistant to your damage type piercing. <clears throat> okay. Well, then I'm just going to punch him. Punching is a thing you can do. I'll just do an unarmed attack and just. That's okay. Okay, so that one's. Uh, supposed to be at a plus zero, but it's still a hit, so roll damage. Okay. No one ever hits at that third attack, but you got him. Eh, saw hits every once in a while. Yeah. You had just enough to <laughs> punch his head clear off and his <laughs> bones crumble <laughs> to the ground. Uh, nicely done. That was a very good round. And one more enemy off the map here. <clears throat> Let's see here. I saw. This Thank one you for is... running me away. Go and roll some attacks. Yep. <laughs> he does 12 points of damage against Tully. But Tully is in rough shape. Um, and then, let's see here. I guess he'll just keep swinging. I don't know why he wouldn't. And that's a natural one. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say he loses his uh, next action uh, just out of pure clumsiness. Uh, um, where's the next oh, one? All right. Oh, this one. This is gonna. S well, let's see here. That dog looks pretty, uh, pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. We're gonna go after him. Yep. We're pretty going after tasty. Waffles Wiggle Bottoms. But he is one fast pooch, let me tell you. I cannot hit him. So. <laughs> Good job, Waffles. Uh, so he is not enjoying this situation at all. Uh, he's going to step away and try and put some distance between him and you guys. Um, Waffles? They're the white. No, the uh, white guy. Waffle doesn't like the situation either. Well, you probably make a strike first. Uh, so he's going to make a strike against Nostalgy. And he missed. And then he is going to move. Well, maybe he'll do one more. One more strike. He only needs one movement. Also a miss. Okay. <laughs> and then he's gonna head over this way. And that will be his turn. <clears throat> um, all right. I will. It is Alia's turn. Oh, I'm next up. Okay. Yes. I'm dying. You're dying. Polly's dying. I'm dying. <laughs> Of You're out dying. of healing You're potions. Uh oh. But you got some bombs. I do. And right now you cannot hit your friends with bombs, so that's nice. Is that like a thing? Get the splashback damage from the lightning. We've had that. 
do you want to throw a bomb in this skeleton in front of you? If you, th if you throw this one at the skeleton in front of you, it will also hit you in waffles. Uh, unless you run away first. It's only a single point of damage. But it's you like also licking know a battery. This guy doesn't uh, take any damage from lightning. He doesn't. He doesn't take very much damage yeah. from lightning. So, um, yeah, this one does not. He's immune to licking batteries. He's I don't know. Waffles his... is kind of annoyed with him. Yeah. Do you want him to just attack? Waffles wants to bite him. Okay, waffles can bite him. Uh, that is, that does kind of track for a dog, if I'm being honest. You tried right. to hurt me, I'm gonna bite you. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> a dog trying to chew on bones, yeah, that yeah. kind of track. Alright, how do I make waffles bite him? What do I do? You just click waffles, then go to attack, and then click attack plus three. Um, nice. and the buttons that show up. I clicked it. You did click it. I did click it. I swear. I clicked it again. Uh, you saw it, right? It I also clicked it, and it still didn't do it. I think you have to do it. Oh, there we go. I rolled it. Hot. For whatever reason, it worked for me. <laughs> All, right. All right. 20 is a hit, so we can roll damage on the waffles is bite um do i do what is waffles's bite i don't know i think i'm guessing <laughs> it's a d4 um corgi mount um Uh, uh, I don't know. Whatever is probably fine. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Riding dog, Pathfinder two E or riding dog. That is a creature. Riding dog does a 1d6 plus 2 uh, piercing damage. Okay, that's not bad. Which one is that? that is... So roll a Am d6. I rolling it? Yeah, roll a d6, uh, Courtney. Plus 2? Yes. yes. Five points of piercing damage. That that bone guy doesn't really care much about that. Mm. Unfortunately. He just doesn't have organs to pierce. What a jerk not having organs like that. Okay, how can I click back on myself? I'll move him. Okay, I'm like, I go. can't click me. <laughs> Okay. You have the alchemist fire, but I don't think fire works very well on these guys. Not on the skeletons. Uh, I was going to say, what about the white? Ooh. The white My brain is like, white walkers, fireworks against them. Try it. Okay. You want to move towards him and throw your bomb? Do I need to move closer to him if it's a throwing bomb? What's your so range 20... on your bomb? I think it's 20. Am I close enough? No. Ooh, okay. And if it does require a reflex saving throw, he 20 is... 20 feet. ...bad at those. So, yeah. We do know that. Am I clo close enough to throw it? Yes. Okay. You are. 
Okay. So you draw yep. your bomb and then throw it where a plus eight. Oh no! You can reroll that with a hero point. <laughs> How do I do that? You just roll uh, again. Yeah, you, you just roll right, again. I would say right click it. The, the roll in the chat and click re-roll and keep the new result or re-roll using a hero point. You do that. Why does it not oh, let I didn't click? realize you oh, could do yeah. that. Ah. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's not, not much one. better. Better. But he still does take some damage, all right? So the one D8 is a miss, but uh, he'll take one point of fire splash damage. Okay. That's too bad. Okay. Um, I think Waffles still had another action if you wanted him to move you somewhere. Yeah, move me away from the skeleton. You want to go like north? Towards the hallway. Get me down or... closer to Sky. That's a good move. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> too far, too far. Uh, waffles can suddenly fly very fast. Um, Fergie speed. Let's see, so we'd be go 5, 10, 15, 20. 15, yeah, is that, is there, that good right there? That where you want to be? Is that where you want to be? Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. All right, Tully. All right, I'm going to move there. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to make an attack on the white. Twenty. A twenty is a hit. Uh, eleven points of damage. Uh, and all of this. Uh does bypass his um, uh, resistances? Resistances. He doesn't have any. Oh, he doesn't have any resistance to damages? To damage? Nope. No resistance to damage. Okay. That's good to hear. Um, And then I will try and make another attack. He is looking like he's having a rough time. Uh... Yeah. Nice. All right. 23 is a hit. Roll damage again. Uh, another 11 damage. Holy hell. He's really hurting now. So, yes. And that will be my turn. All right. Uh, at this, the white is pointing at you, and he's, like, commanding. He's obviously the one in charge here. It's like, kill the big one! Kill him! Um, but now it's Astology's turn. <clears throat> um, let's see how much... Okay. No, she so is going to do something she's not done before. Because she's a mastermind. She's going to do recall knowledge against this guy. Um, and if she does well on that, she, this guy becomes off guard to her. Um, dope. Yes. Why, yes, that is indeed dope. <laughs> um... So for this guy, I believe it's a knowledge religion. So let's roll a knowledge religion. Can she know? So that knowledge. won't quite do it. But she can still move in and get that attack in on him. Um, how much? Oh yeah, she can get there. I was gonna say if she ends up here, she the creature is still considered flanked. Really? Yeah, because he's threatened where I'm at. I have a reach weapon. 
Oh, is that how it works? Okay, you didn't have to have a threatening person in your space. Yeah, I'm. I think it. Okay. Still works like if it's if they're threatened on the other side. All right, sounds good. Well, that is going to be a hit. And it does say he is off guard. So Foundry's already got that calculated. So I didn't even need to do that. Nice. And so with that, so she leaps forward, flies through the air, and kind of does a spin move and stabs him right through the heart. And that is the end of the white guy. Nice. Um, I could always leap like a freak and throw in a back snapping eel strike. Yes. And this is why last time we said we needed nostalgia down here with us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. What does she have? Hmm. I was hoping she'd have some ways to give you some healing. But, see, that was... No, that's three actions, I guess, if she did the thing. So, yeah. She'll Sky Stopper. All right. I am going to try something different. And I'm going to cast Phase Bolt. Ooh, that's and cool. Attack my skeleton friend up here by the Goblet of Fire. Awesome. Hit that attack button. Oh, and I'm on for some reason. Yeah, please don't attack okay. me. Okay, so I will say Phase Bolt does do piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, it does. We, uh, we already know that oh, they yeah. don't take very much piercing damage. Okay. So, yeah, if you hit it with this thing, it will probably take about zero damage. Uh oh. Gouging Claw, if you wanted to get up there, would um, also do not much damage piercing. against these guys. As oh. piercing or slashing, it has resistance to both of those things. So you have a bow okay. staff. Okay. I do or have fists. the bow staff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to use the bow staff, that would just absolutely ruin these guys' day. Sure. Yes. You like ruining their days. So I have to draw the bow staff. Yes. Draw, step, and slam, blam, 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 blam. Can I draw it with two hands or one? Two. two. You could drop your uh, sword cane, too, if you want to have two hands for the whole staff. Sure. I dropped that. I got two it's hands. It's been dropped. And, and I attacked around. apparently with plus five. Don't drop that pickle pee. Oh, that's not quite going to do it. Okay. So that would be your turn then. Yep. We got it down the All right. This one's going to run forward to try and take out the one that killed its master. That's going to be a miss with a natty four. Eleven's not going to do it either. All right. And since you're so conveniently close, he's going to take some swings on you. What did I do? There we go. All right. I, I used all my luck earlier. Never mind. That's an added 20. Uh, <laughs> Sky, you take 10 points of damage. Oh, man. You guys are looking rough. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. It's, it's time to... Uh... Make a uh, elixir right now, I think. A you totally alchemy. could make one. Yeah. Let's do that, right? Yep. You could totally do that. Whoops. Oh, 
Oh, the other Corgi Queen. There we are. So let me head to your crafting thing. So let's see. Quick alchemy. Uh, but I'll just click it and add it to your stuff. So, quick craft. Yeah. And you would just get one of that item. Is that right, Shane? Yeah. Any idea? Yes. If you prepare it so. ahead of time, you get two. If you prepare it in the moment, you get one. All right. There you go. It's in your inventory now. So you can totally okay. use that. So, we're going to go over here. Okay. And we're going to. And you get two points of healing. I tried. Delicious. Okay. All right. Then I can have Waffles move us, right? Yep. Yes. All right, Waffles. Hi ho, Waffles. Away. Take us that way. You forgot me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tully. Uh, Tully is going to make another uh lore skill check on this Skellington. That is a crit. He is resistant to cold, electricity, fire, piercing, and slashing. Five. All right. Then he's going to make an attack. <laughs> Missed by one. God damn it. Uh, AC 16. You hate to see it. Um, He's going to make another attack. Hiya. <laughs> That'll do it. The 19. Uh, 11 damage. No resistance. You obliterated this guy. They uh, only have four hit points. <laughs> I mean, listen. Their boss just spent time playing Congo on my kidneys, so... <laughs> I think they deserve it. Yes. Um, and that is all three actions for my turn. All right. Nostalgia is going to, uh, uh, let's see, target this guy now. Oops. I'm just going to hit the damage button because I want to see what it is. It's a D6 plus one. Yeah, it's not going to do much. She's just going to try and kick this thing. Kick it. Oh. Kick it in the face. She hit him with a kick. That's a one on the die. <laughs> so it takes two points of damage. Uh, which is more than it would with a rapier, but she can still... Wait, do they have vulnerability? No. Oh, okay. They don't. It's oh, just resistant uh, she gets a stuff, plus one so. from strength. Okay. Yep. And she hits it again with another kick with her other foot. And so the three points gets through, and that one is done for. I didn't realize that she took the monk dedication. That's crazy. Yep. I guess that's a monk thing, isn't it? I mean, kicking people in the face is a monk thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that everything? Everything's dead? I thought there was so. one. Like, what else do to do? You guys clean house. Great job. <laughs> but boy, you look like you've seen some better days. Yeah, they need some... Uh... They need some healing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> do you have a healer's kit? Do we have oh, anybody yeah. that knows how to do um Alia's got healing tools. She's built the okay. healing stuff, so 
Yes, she can roll some medicine checks. I'm just like, <laughs> hey, can you guys do me a favor and pick up some of my blood? I think I dropped it over there. <laughs> Is that how? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, that's a crit. What does that heal? Uh, four d eight, I believe. Fuck yeah, it does. You want to roll four d eight and tell me how much of my blood you managed to just scoop up in a ladle and like. <laughs> pour back into my body. <laughs> okay. So I hit the D8. Four times. Yes. Okay. Here you go. All right. Not bad. Did you heal your monkey friend too? Yeah. Okay, do it all the same again? Yes. Yep. So you roll uh, a medicine check. Medicine. Sorry. That one is not going to do it. I do I think you're what? All right. We'll have to wait an hour or something. I have to check her traits and stuff or whatever. The there are ways to get around that one hour thing, but uh yeah, I don't know that we able to heal one of you though yes well really it just all the all that's doing uh that it's doing here is um uh um all it's doing is uh show telling us how long we have to wait for you to uh treat our wounds also you can use that in um uh, you can use this in combat, I just realized. Okay. Yeah, you have the battle medicine uh, feat. Oh, okay, yeah, you can heal me. people during combat, too. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have to run up next to you for that. <laughs> you do have to do that, but you don't have to use one of your... Um, Elixirs. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh. Well, that's good to know for next battle. Uh, so yeah, we can just wait like an hour and then come back, and uh, you can be like, okay, well, you've bled through these bandages. Let me put on some fr fresh ones for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to try making a couple more, uh, uh... you know what? We just fast track this. You guys take a few hours to heal yourselves up to full. Yes. <clears throat> Let's just do that. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? Are you sure? Uh, Nostalgia has uh, some kind of ability with like that she can collect stuff from these things we just beat. They are bones. <laughs> Even the you white? Now have, you now have bones. Even the white? He has bones and claws. That are also bones. Hey, waffles have a bone. He has yeah, no inventory. Uh, he has some rotten looking clothes. Uh, yeah. Okay. That Nothing are even worse him. than what Tali's wearing. Nothing <laughs> left over from the other guy they ate. Oh, well, yeah. Is there no. any remains of the other guy? Tully probably would take some of those bones, actually. Okay. Like, hey, you never know when you're going to need something. It is true. You never know when you're going to meet a monster that's weak to calcium. All right. Uh, you guys had another room up ahead of you. Uh, I will go first here. Ugh. Do I need to cast light yeah. again? Does Nostalgia still have the debuff on her? Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't feel so good, guys. I feel uh, like I need a full rest before I get better. Uh, 
That's how I'm feeling. Oh, wow. Well. It's interesting how mechanically you're feeling at the moment. Super mechanical. <laughs> All right. Um, what do I see in here? In this room, here's what you see. Um, uh, it's a large hall. It has opening to the south and east. Yeah, there's six stout pillars. I don't know if there's six in this picture. There are four uh, <laughs> stout pillars. Uh, each um, I'd hold up the ceiling. Each carved with overlapping symbols of star knives. And there's some sconces that flicker with an unnatural green light hanging on the smooth stone walls. Uh, can I make a recall knowledge check to see if I know? Uh, I can't remember. I do know that one of the deities' uh, favorite weapon is the star knives. Can I see if it, this has something to do with that? You sure can. Esoteric lore, hiya! Huh? 15? <laughs> uh, do I know anything about it? Nope. Well, but. Just like, huh? Interesting pillars. That's pretty cool. Um. Would this hmm. count for Underworld, too? Underworld. Um, because I, I, I know, know I have Underworld. God lore. has a star knife as its favored weapon. That'd be a religion. Oh. I don't. I, I have religion plus six, but that's not that good. That's pretty decent. That's actually pretty damn level. good oh. at third level. Okay. Should I roll that to see if we know anything? Sure. I was like, or should I try to heal Nostalgia? Oh, Nostalgia's are already we're, up to We're fall. waving, hand-waving the healing such, like, okay. we're not going to sit here and roll healing. That's not as so fun, so. But you guys are now full health. Uh, we're congratulations, all religion. you didn't die. Uh, yeah, you're not sure. Yeah, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Thought I'd check. Right. I think what do I see? Over here. Just say, like, hey, go poke that coffin. Oak. <laughs> All right, so as you guys walk in there, here's what you see. Sorry, I was reading stuff. I was trying to find out what deity has a star knife. So uh, it's know. Desna. Oh, it is Desna. Okay. You're not getting many Desna vibes from this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this place. I, I kind of figured. Um. We'll say nostalgia got up there. Okay. Ooh. So in this room, uh, you, you see, see shadows that flicker strangely in the chamber. And the south end of the room bears a large stone sarcophagus decorated with carvings of a star in the open palm of a hand. You've seen this before. The sarcophagus appears cracked and an inky goo dribbles out of it. And two upright coffins flank the sarcophagus both ajar. Um, and as you guys walk in, a shadowy form rises from that sarcophagus, so that one that's leaking some goo. Um, and the zombies are lumbering forth towards you guys. Um, why is it so, always Zambos? It's a crypt. I'm just saying, it's been a lot of Zambos around lately. Except for that There's one time. I do think we killed a, a Medusa or something. I forget. Mm -hmm. Something that Somewhere. turns people to stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> was that the basilisk? I was yeah. the basilisk, yes. Mm -hmm. Good waffles. All right, yes. well, let's just go ahead and roll for initiative. Whoa! I miss roll, rigga, roll, rigga, roll, rigga, roll, rigga, roll, 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 ro
All right, so here's what we got for initiative order. Sky with a 24. Bad guys, 21. 3, 1. Uh, Tully, I didn't see you. Okay, here, I'll just do this one. Attributes, then we hit perception. Hold on, I gotta get off of waffles. We gotta get off of waffles first. <laughs> you can. The yeah. game's paused. Yeah, I can't get to Alia. Here, I'll reroll that go. there. Oh, it's the same number. 13. Perfect. And nostalgia. All right, with a 17 for nostalgia. That's pretty good. All right, so it looks like Sky's the top of the order here. Did you roll, okay. Olya? No, I am now. I had to get another area because I was stuck on waffles instead of me. Oh, sure, sure. 10, I didn't see that one go through. I'll just click the button. Oh, 16. Perfect. I just got it. All right, let's go. Guy, you're up first. Well, okay. I gave your focus point back, since you had plenty of time to recharge that with a few hour break that you took. I guess I will use electric arc on this zombie over here. Okay. And so I will come up to him. Uh, can I switch to my sword or do I need to? Uh, you could have said that your sword was out instead of your staff. Like you okay. can, yeah. Like if you think you would have put your sword or your staff away between combats. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I did. And um to do the electric arc damage whoa max damage nice oh let's see if you can hit it though what do i gotta do to see if i hit it i uh, have to swing your sword gain okay so plus eight what oh, was my lights off? I think he oh can. Oh my god! It. Oh my god! <laughs> that natural twenty. One sec. Hey Google, turn on my office lights. All right, hit the critical button on that. Critical. I think you just obliterated this thing with one hit. That was pretty good. So twelve plus twenty. You double the electric damage too. So that's like twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, he's super dead. <laughs> Bye. Do whatever you want. I'm super dead. Is the other zombie close enough that he gets affected by the electric arc? Oh, uh, yeah. You can definitely affect him with it, too. Jeez. <laughs> Just cleaning the house here. Uh... So, boom. So, electric arc. Um... Do I roll a reflex save on that? Uh, I think you do. Let me see. I think he's dead regardless, because that's a lot of damage. No, there's not say anything about a save in this spell. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, there is a reflex save. Oh, DC no. 18 basic reflex. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, I'll roll for him. As far as I know, zombies don't tend to have the best reflexes. I did roll a natty 19 on the die, though, so that is still... But you killed him regardless, so... <laughs> um, so let's roll for this guy now. Um, so how much damage does he take, then, as it arcs? Uh, he, he takes the same amount of damage. It, it says it literally hops between the enemies. Yeah, oh, wow. It's essentially like a cantrip version of Chain Lightning. Wow. That is so cool. 
This guy wasn't so lucky. He failed. Uh, so would he take the full damage from... So this guy got... Yeah, he takes this... 11 damage. So it's 11 damage, but he got a natural 20 on his attack. So it would be 22 or just the 11? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want... Probably the 11. If you want to say that he just thundered the shit out of this guy so hard that uh, the spell <laughs> damage gets doubled too. I like that idea. That's up to you as the DM. Yeah, okay. Well, let's look at the text of the spell again here. Uh, so electric arc. Leaps from one target to another, you deal. All right, he gets nailed with it, and uh, yeah, he's super dead too. <laughs> you just exploded both the zombies with one swing. You still have an action left. No, you moved, right? Yeah. Yeah, you moved, moved so that's the end of your turn. All right. Okay. Double. All right. Well, good round. Um, now it's yeah, my turn. You just head in there and delete half the people. <laughs> what? You can the... have cake later. Hey, why am I on the roulette or the um, carousel twice? I don't know. That's kind of weird. That's all right. Oh, yeah. I don't see anything oh. on my side. Fix it. <laughs> there we go. So our initiative got a little messed up. I think uh, you hit the wrong button or something when you did rolled your initiative. Um, and so I like rolled it again. <laughs> and then it got a okay. twice. I don't know. And it, it, it was, remember there was a lag or something. I don't know. It wasn't working. And then that happened. Uh, okay. So. But anyway. <sighs> yeah, it wasn't there. So this big shadowy figure... Uh, Sometimes lurch it now immediately lurches forward. Uh, and as it does, you hear this guy in the back <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> um Yeah. So it flies through the air. This thing looks so creepy. Uh this is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like that thing. Uh, cool. This shadowy oh. spectral figure oh. uh, runs forward and is going to hit you with a shadow hand attack. And that's a natty 19 for a critical hit. Crit for oh crit. Boy. Crit for crit. We're trading crits, it seems. And you take they 20 like points of damage. Not great. Oh. Uh, and so the type of damage it was, it's just like a magical blast. Um, and then it's going to start pulling on your shadow. And you are now enfeebled one as you feel weaker than you did before. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, next up is nostalgia. Let me look at the knowledge rules on this thing. Uh, so she's going to try and get over here and flank with two move actions. And then she's going to attack with her. Oh, God, that's a natural 20 with her sword. So, uh, yes, that's 15 points of damage plus her sneak attack as well here, um, which I think it rolled already, so... Oh, I was trying to reveal that to you guys, but it's not working. Oh, there we go. Wow. Nice. Boom. Yeah, she hit it hard. All right. 
Ollie nice. is up next. Nice. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm still stuck on waffles. I can't now be stuck on click. waffles. Just as a concept. Oh, you're on you. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, I'm I'm kind of stuck out here, so first I need to move inside. Uh, that I can't is like see a, a wall, so you need to go up one square and then run in there. So like that. Okay. Woof woof. Woof woof. <laughs> Bring the puppy. Bring the puppy. Okay. We're gonna. Can I roll for the medicine now? You can run up but and I do a medicine to check. Closer to him, right? You have to be right next to him, yes. Woof, woof, this way. Okay. So, yeah, roll your treat wounds check. Does she go under action battle medicine? Oh, treat wounds, I see it. It's a... Yeah. <clears throat> God. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what was that? All right. Yeah, no you healed him to 26. He's back at full health. Um, damn. Hey. <laughs> she just comes by with a giant novelty band aid and like slaps it on his back. Here's the cake. Have fun. <laughs> hey. That was awesome. I think that was all your turns. So it was like you so. moved. Um and then you did your thing. Well no, I think you could do one more thing. So it's like you get so waffles move and then So you can run away again if you'd like. you like. Yeah, you can let's, move again, yeah. Let's uh run away up between over here. Okay. Between the coffin. Yeah, between the coffins. That's a nice cozy place. Like that? Yes. Come on, waffles. All right, Tully's up next. All right, Tully's going to move here. He's going to spend an action doing a lore check. Boop. Mm, it's not going to quite do 17. it. Uh, and then he's going to make an attack, uh, despite it not being as good as it possibly could. Um, Let me look at something here real quick. <clears throat> um uh okay yep so i will go ahead yeah and just make that strike hi yeah 22 is a hit seven damage all right I don't know that I've rolled on the higher half of my D6 all night. I don't think so. <laughs> That's right. You, you hit some all knowledge one, checks at least. And threes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's my three actions. Sky Stomper. Right. Wait, this is just round two. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I will tell you is it does take an action to recharge your spell strike, but you don't okay. have to move anywhere, so you could just recharge it and then, like, gouge and claw this guy or something. Okay. As you stab him. Stab him with a claw that is also your sword. So, roll your attack <laughs> first before you do your spell stuff. Okay. God, you guys are rolling so well. That is a, another hit. Fuck it. Yes. So then I do gouging claw. Yeah, so uh, then you, you just roll damage for, for both too. of them. Yep. So do damage from a sword. Six. Nice. Okay. And do I do piercing or slashing? Doesn't matter. Let's pierce him. Damage. 
Now they're so, 10 points. 16 points of damage. Yes. Awesome. Get him! Get him! Okay. Yeah, this thing starting... It has been writhing. It was just full of vigor. And now uh, it's like shaking and seems like it's kind of panicked uh, at this point. Um, uh, at this point, it's going to move here. He was talking all that good shit just a second ago. And then it's going to attack you, and that is just going to hit with its Shadow Strike. You take 14 points, and then it's also going to make you Infee build with its... Infee build. Uh, uh, Infee build uh, with its Steel Shadow attack. No save or anything? There is no save. Oh, it didn't work. Boop. There we go. You're now enfeebled. Okay. Uh, Nostalgia's got an easy time. She just needs to take five foot step, and she's going to give her a big old stab here. And then she's going to get some sneak attack damage on top of that. And now it's looking very, very hurt. Alia, what are you going to do? Don't bomb at it. My. <laughs> I can't help them with the shadow thing, can I? I don't know that you have a whole lot of, like, we need to get you a bow or something if you want to do that, but... Um, you could always have the corgi come up and bite this thing. All right, Waffles. <laughs> You're always fun to play with. <laughs> uh, right. just roll, a, roll a d20 plus three. Okay. Oh my god, again. <laughs> <laughs> always always the one to end the enemies uh yeah go ahead and roll damage uh 1d6 plus 2 <laughs> waffles is like that goddamn rabbit from monty python and the holy grail okay <laughs> all right waffles runs in and uh chomps down on this thing uh and it uh, shrivels into nothingness uh, as it took two points of damage <laughs> from the uh, due to your resistances. So, and that's the end of that combat. Yeah. So, oh, is it? I thought we were. Oh, I thought we had to kill this thing down here. It looks evil. No, no, please don't kill me. Yeah, uh, I probably should have known better, being half orc. I guess not. Are you sure you're not some sort of like necromancer or something? No, I just came for mushrooms. Oh, the mushroom guy. My name's Phil Rook. I, I was, I was listening, out outside of the window at uh, Magaloy's. I, I thought I could get here first and. Get the mushrooms and make a buck or Why two. Why are you wearing cult robes? I'm I'm just very sneaky. Oh, oh okay. Apparently, I'm Why gonna check these coffins so for loot. Stuff? Uh, are you okay? Do you need anything? <laughs> I'm just happy to be alive. You take the mushrooms. Like I don't even cupcake? care. <laughs> Do you want a cupcake? Oh. Uh, Okay. Do I find Here. anything good in the coffins? Uh, let's see what you find. Uh, he munches down on your uh, cough on, on, on the coffins on your cupcake. Uh, here's what you find. Uh, you find inside 
the sarcophagus, you find three black opals, each one worth 15 gold pieces. Uh, a pyrite rat and a belt of good health. So let's look at what these things are. Oh. Pyrite rat. It's a piece of equipment. It's not an actual rat. Uh, it's a rat-shaped statuette, and it's one inch tall. When activated, the statuette transforms into a giant rat. And you can use the following action when you hold the rat. You can use this action once per day. The rat means transform for one hour. Uh, uh. Place a statue on the ground. Say the rat's secret name. Transforms into a living rat, and it acts on your turn. It gets two actions. It can't use reactions. You have to spend an action each turn to tell it what to do. Otherwise, it tries to run away from danger, cowers where it is. So we have a Pokemon. You have a Pokemon. <laughs> it's a <Yes>. Rattata. <laughs> Rattata, I choose you. But does it have an eye patch? No. Because it's a pirate. Uh, what was the other thing? So, belt of good health. Uh, this is an useful. item I've never actually looked at. Oh, yes. Uh, when you put this belt on, a silver buckle begins to glow, which slowly spreads into the heart-shaped jewel in the center. You increase your maximum hit points and current hit points by four. Ooh. If you remove the belt, Ooh. you immediately decrease both by four. So, yeah, it just gives you a little extra HP. Um, did the wormy thing, the, the venom... Leave anything behind whenever it dissipated? No, but these are the things that you found in its sarcophagus. Okay. Um, well, uh, I don't suppose you have, like, uh, a chest or something where you can just drag that into our inventories, do you? I can make <laughs> one. You guys want to have okay. a party inventory or whatever? That uh, works. Yeah. Here, I will make a... Just put it on Waffles. He can be our inventory. <laughs> I don't think he can hold anything. <laughs> oh. That's me. <laughs> waffles oh, is our pack, Corgi. Go to Waffles. Okay, so I can't put it there. So I will instead Yay. put it here. Sammy, Waffles did good, so you get treats. Loot. Cool. You can be our real life pack, Corgi. Hi. Party loot. All right, there we go. So I'll drag it in there for now. You guys can decide later what you want to do with it. Uh, belt of good health. Boom. All I'm right. right. Rat. And Opal. some opals. Opal. Opal Gangnam style. Good job, Sam. gold. You what played as waffles again. That? Good job. <laughs> 15 gold a piece, not 50. That's ridiculous. There we go. All right, cool. And so, yeah, uh, this guy, he says, my name's... My name is Phil Rook. Uh, Hi, Phil. Yeah, I'm Phil? sorry I tried to... Yeah, you can call me Phil. I'm sorry Collins? I tried to, to to take away, you know, your job and everything, but you guys take the mushrooms. You, I'm just happy to get out of here alive. Yes, we will take the mushrooms. We should all probably take head back mushrooms. and bring the mushrooms. All right. Yeah. So you guys start. That was nice back. to meet you, Phil. Yes. Do we, do we never know cross anything us again, about Phil? The shadow? Never cross what? us again. No, I won't. I won't do it. Never. <laughs> <laughs> he runs away. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and with that, we'll see you next week. <laughs> right. Uh, that was good. All right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Good night.